A lot of y'all in the chat gonna be guests. I don't know. I have a way to connect with people that say, hey, can you come in and do this for me? Can you? I, listen, I see this in you and I want you to tell it to other people. It's, it's, it's in me to do that. I don't know. I got to look at my chart. My kid, I gotta, you got to help me find it in my chart. Why do I do that? Or how, like where in my chart it says that I can push or I do push people naturally like this. It's in my chart somewhere because I've been doing this for years, y'all. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. I don't know where I got to find it in my chart. My key is going to help me with that one day. Or the anybody that's into astrology. Y'all help me find it in my chart. Martian energy. Martian energy. Is it a Mars? My Mars? Did we talk about Mars yesterday? No, we talked about Moon. We talked about Jupiter and we talked about Neptune. And I think a little bit of... No, we talked about Chiron. Okay, Mars. Let me go look up my Mars. I'm going to look up my Mars. Mars is fire energy, 10th house stuff. Look at y'all. Let me check y'all out. Y'all talking about astrology like this and the natals and the houses and the placements. Go on, go on ahead, y'all. It's definitely the Leo placements too. I knew it. I knew it, Nefertari. Nefertari, I knew it. Oh my God. Natal, not natal. What is it? Astro Seek. Damn, I knew it. I got Leo stellium. What's stellium again? <laughs> What's the stellium again? Saying Lilith in one of your houses. I don't know. It might be. Reese, I don't, I'm still learning. I got my books ready to learn. But my kid was teaching us last night in the Discord. She was teaching us a few of the houses. Do you know what house your son is? It's in my first house. Where's your Mercury? Oh, shit. Y'all, okay. Hold on. Y'all, we're going to pause. Let's pause medium shit right now. Edwin, go ahead and pull your chart because we <laughs> we going at Edwin. Because me and Edwin was on there asking a lot of questions. And me, we all were asking questions in there. Hold on. My Mercury. Dang, y'all about to tell me some stuff. Hold on, because I, I don't know. 6.15. Okay. All right, y'all ask me where my Mercury is in my chart. First house. My Mercury's in, my son is in the first house. My Mercury's in the first house. Okay, so what are y'all saying about the Mercury? <laughs> I just looked at your chart. It's your north, your north node. My north node is in the 12th house. And it's in Leo. Mercury's in Leo. Sun is in Leo. And also in Leo. Yeah, my whole chart is mostly fire. I have 66% dominant fire. Mercury is, Mercury is how you communicate. I think, I think, got it. I think my kid talked about Mercury last night too. Yeah, I think she did. I wrote that down. Mercury is, is in my, yep, first house. And it's in Leo. North node, Leo, 12th house is Y. Okay, North Node, Leo, 12th house is Y, what? What do you mean, Makia? You just use, you use your words to inspire people. That's why, because my North Node is in Leo, and this is why I'm able to push people this way. And what, and is that why Mercury retrograde messes with us so bad? Makia taught us about that last night, about Mercury retrograde. That is your soul's purpose also. So, Leo and North Node. North Node, my soul's purpose is to push people. That's what you're saying, Kelly? Have the power of the tongue. Mm, the 12th house, subconscious. Connecting to past lives and mediumship with me. You're living your purpose. I am key. That's why you push people. Oh, I'm doing it. Teach boldness and career. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, I made it. I made it. Natural leader. I made it, y'all. That's why the dream, that's what the dream was about. Oh, okay, Nika. Natural leader. Damn, okay. Damn, I got to crack open this book. Tiara, don't laugh at me, Tiara. <laughs> Tiara, don't laugh at me. Uh, so, listen, yes, you're moving in and I'm doing it. Oh, oh, okay, that makes me happy. That's the only thing. Oh, no, I have something else in my 12th house. Is it because of the 12th house? Or is it because of the North Node? It's the 12th, it's the North Node, right? You're fulfill you are fulfilling me. Woo! Okay. Is it it's because it's the north node and not the house? Or is it because both? Because I have Mars in my in that as well. Mars is in what's that cancer? No, Mars is in Pisces. I think that's in Pisces. 12th house is spirituality, things that are hidden. Mm, that's what I'm doing it, Peter. I'm doing it. What sign is what sign is your 12th house? Oh, my 12th house is a sign too? I think that's Pisces. It look like Pisces. Pisces. North Node and Leo, 12th house, spirituality, teaching bold spirit. That makes me feel great. I'm so glad. Oh, that's not Pisces. Oh, Nefertari. No, that's not it. It's the one that go. That's Gemini. Is that Gemini? It's like opposite. Like the, the <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm lost about that. Yeah, I listen. I'm so glad I have so many people that understand it so they can help me. It's the two things that's not gemini okay so that's not it either what the hell is that what sign is that y'all know i only know leo right what sign is this i don't know it's like nines that's on top of each other there we go it is cancer okay that's cancer thank you that's cancer i'm talking about nines that's up it's i need to go get my damn book <laughs> tori you too <laughs> what the hell is that so it is cancer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it looked like the yin and yang. Yes. Yes. So that's my, um, what was that? My Mars. My Mars is in that, um, in cancer in the 12th house. I see the six and the nine. Yeah. <laughs> you have it on your arm. Jasmine, don't laugh at me. Cause I showed dead ass. I ain't know what that was. If it ain't a Leo, I don't know. You said nine something I'm like, and I'm over here trying to trying to do it with my fingers, girl. You guys are so informative. I need to figure out my man, Meg. Listen, you have no idea. I'm so grateful for everybody in here, cause I don't know. I gotta scroll back up and see. Your north node is actually Leo. Yeah, my north node is Leo, but my um, Mars is the Cancer in twelfth house. So the north node is in the twelfth house, and Cancer uh, this Mars is in the twelfth house. My entire chart is 12th house all the way to the 6th house. My 11th, 7th, 11th house, 7th house, and 9th house has no placements. There's nothing in those, those houses. South Node is Aquarius. Yes, I remember they're opposites of each other. I remember that part. But I forgot what South Node does. That's something I didn't fulfill, right? How do you know your 12th house? It says it has a um, 12 next to it on the side. Um, it's in the astro seek, astro hyphen seek dot com. South node is what you reincarnated, have mastered. But where is that on the chart? I think I was asking for that yesterday. Like, where is my south node? I, I didn't see it unless it's named something else in the chart. South node, you're already good at. But where is that in the chart? Mykia, Kelly, where is that in the chart? On my chart? What is a what does a south node look like? It would be your sixth house. My sixth house. My sixth house. Okay, so the sixth house have what are these two squigglies? 
No, yes. Oh, it's DC, DC, the South. Um, oh, that's Air Army. Come on, come on, Army. Come on, you do that. So DC is my um. Okay, so that's my South Node. So it's okay. Okay, that makes sense. I just said that I'm opposite of. Yeah, I'm opposite of um. It's opposite of Leo. Ninth degree, 58. I don't know what that means. But I don't see any of that um, anywhere else. I don't see any of that anywhere else. I don't see Aquarius anywhere else in my chart. It's just saying that it's the south node. South node is where you're comfortable and it's upside down. No. But it's not it's not in the, it's nowhere in the chart. I don't have any I don't have Aquarius in the chart. So what that mean? If I don't have Aquarius in the chart. What what house does Aquarius show even if no planets are there? Okay. Um, it's just so six, 44 degree in the sixth house. You need to get good at your North Node placement. Okay, so my North Node placement is the Leo, first house. No. What the hell is it? Oh, okay. North Node is in my 12th house. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So when I get good at the 12th, what I get good at my North Node is when I'm like, I'm doing my shit. But the South Node is what I've already accomplished. I'm, I'm good at, but there's nothing... Um, but the sixth house. So I guess I'm good at my sixth house. Like I've accomplished everything in my sixth house. It's not that important. This lifetime is not really taught. Oh, okay, okay, my Kia, got it. Gotcha. So that is what you master the past and your natural gift. Damn, I only mastered one thing. I only mastered one house. That's lame. Damn, I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do. Y'all only master one house. I always rely on both and find balance between them. Uh, okay. That's that's lame as hell. That I only did, I only master one. I feel like I've been here a billion times. That's why you're doing so much. Ain't it, Nika? That's why I'm all over the place. <laughs> Just a six house? That's it? I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm-mm. I don't like that at all. I got freaking Sagittarius all over my shit. I got Leo everywhere. And I ain't mastered a freaking six house. That's crazy. That's some bullshit. What's the six house about again? That's crazy. That's just what you math in your last lifetime. What is the sixth house about again? That is, that's, that ain't right. I don't like that. Last life, it looks like you were a humanitarian, good with pets and health. And, man, God damn. So why did I become a nurse if I mastered it? I fucked this, I, I messed this up, huh? I messed this lifetime up. I did it wrong. Because why am I a nurse in this life? Why do I got two dolls and I had three? Like, I messed it up. Y'all, I messed this up. I ain't do it right. <laughs> Damn, I'm coming back to earth. <laughs> oh, my God, I'll be back. Because I ain't do it right. I messed it up. I messed it up. I'm coming back. <laughs> Nika, you already see it. I'm going back to jail. <laughs> I'm going back. No, you did it right. Why I got, I'm a nurse though, Kelly. I'm a nurse now. Nurturing carried over from your past life. You didn't miss. <laughs> I ain't messed it up. No, you did it right. You did. So why did I like choose a different like uh, career in life? Why did I become a nurse in this life? If I mastered in the last life. So my last life, it was hard for me to nurture and heal and guide is what I'm thinking. Right. Oh, I didn't. Okay, Valerie, thank you. That makes me. You didn't go through your awakening. Ah. 
You said that in one of your videos. Which video I said, Nika? I fucked it up, huh? You and your <laughs> Yes, and you're a spiritual doctor now. Oh, okay, so I did mess it up. I thought it was for me, like, what my career is. Like, you already, you mastered that. So why did I choose to become a nurse? Okay, so I think I understand that a little bit. Girl, I need to get my head in the books. I need to, I need to crack open that astrology book for real. I'm over here looking like, so what the fuck? I fucked it up. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all. I love y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I love y'all because without y'all, I still kind of don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I, I think I have a little bit more understanding. Not specifically career. Nah, it's somewhat more meta metaphorical. Okay. Can we renegotiate? <laughs> wait, 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 what Edwin said. You married the spiritual. You Wait, 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 what? You married the spiritual with the career. Oh, I merged them together, boss, master. You got it. Oh, okay. And then the placement with me having the Leo in the 12th house. I am now really uncovering the deeper part of the spiritual aspects. I'm also a nurse, but multiple girls should took it away from me. Oh, Tiffany, I'm sorry to hear that. I was about to tell you, bring me. Oh, yeah, baby. Listen, let me bring you up, my kid. My kid said I'm stressed. Out. My friends see me struggling. <laughs> my friends see me struggling. She says she wants to come up sharing spirituality and sharing it. You are nailing it. Oh, Kelly, thank you. Okay, I think I understand that a little bit. Can you hear me? Uh, don't laugh at me, friend. <laughs> I said this baby is stressing. <laughs> I am. Oh she God. was like, I did it wrong. I've been with 17 lifetimes. I know what I did it wrong. <laughs> Keep coming back. <laughs> no, so what your south node is what happened pat this literal past life. Okay. That's it. Not all your past life. You so you mastered it this past life. Okay. okay. So now you're moving into your North Node. Okay, so my past life prior to this life, I probably I probably messed it up. I probably had no. Um, well, it's possible, or it's possible that you mastered something else. Okay. So would you say that all the houses that have nothing in it are things that I've mastered? More than likely, yes. There's no work that needs to be done there. Okay. So I only have three houses or four houses that have nothing there. So now I got a, I got seven more lifetimes. No, that's not necessarily how it works because oh, yeah. um, yeah. although you don't have anything in, or if you do have something in a particular house, you can still pass all those seven things. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depending on the work that you do here with what your chart says. Okay. So now my North Node in Leo, 12th house, I understand mm -hmm. that. It's the things that I have to work on now. Mm -hmm. My South Node is what I've completed, but it's an, uh, uh, what is it? Aquarius. Right. Um, Because that's opposite. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, why is it even Aquarius again? Okay. Got that. Got that. And then um, my Mars is in Cancer and that's in 12th house. So what does that mm -hmm. mean? My Mars in Cancer. So your Mars being in Cancer, your Mars is how you take action. Right. That's how you move. That's how you take action. That's how you go forward. That's how you deal with arguments. You know, you are very emotional in that space because of the Mars energy. I mean, because of the cancer energy. So when you get upset, oh, you upset. You can get upset when somebody pisses you off. Oh, you can get pissed when you're happy. There is so much joy there. So the emotion can be I a feel big seen dream. right now, my kid. I feel real huh? seen right now. I feel <laughs> seen. <laughs> But the thing with it being in the 12th house, you try to hide it. With it being in the 12th house, you, house, you try to hide it, but it never works. Oh my God. It never works. Y'all see me? Y'all can see me, right? <laughs> That just hit my gut so bad. Y'all have no idea. I did not know that. And it's in cancer. Yeah. And you know my husband's cancer, right? So this give me mm -hmm. kind of that's why you be yeah. acting like that. Yeah. 
Yep. Oh, my mouth is on the floor, y'all. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. I'm like, oh my God, my kid, you really calling me out. The chart is calling me out. This is me. Holy mm -hmm. I don't even know. I don't even want to ask you nothing else, friend. <laughs> Well, look, well, don't ask me on live then. We can, we can talk about it later. <laughs> Cause you like, uh-uh, absolutely not. No ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. I'm gonna say loud to myself, and that motherfucker, da, da, da. like I be going off on here. Oh my yeah. God, y'all, did y'all hear that? So your Mars is, oh my God. Okay. Thank you, Michael. But it's also how you take action with your dreams and your goals. You're very passionate about it. You get attached to what you do. Um, there's a lot of love in what you do, too. So it's it's how you take action in general and how you protect yourself. Okay. Okay. I really, I think that's the only water sign I have in my chart. I don't have anything else. Everything else is, wait, what's the one that go like this? And it has uh, a Libra. Libra, that's Libra. That's Libra? Yeah, that's an air sign. So I have three placements of Libra, one cancer, uh -huh. everything else is Sag and um Leo. And then my okay. dominant, the main one at the bottom. Wait, where was it? The main one you you spoke about was Aries. I don't see yeah. that right. Your signature sign. Signature sign. Yeah, Aries. yeah, yeah. You definitely come off as an air, but you just you fire. You just fire. You just fire, child. You just <laughs> fire. I thought something was wrong with me. I was like, why am I yeah, like no. this? I'm ready to, always on a hundred. I feel like yeah. I'm always. That's why I tell people all the time: never want to be like anybody else because your literal makeup is so different. Mm -hmm. That's why you just honor what people are and love who they are and then love to learn and embrace yourself too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, friend. Oh, I see it right here. Um, copy positions. It says elements, 18 fire placements, four air mm -hmm. placements, two, two earth plate. Girl, what the heck? Oh, I can't wait to read it. Yeah, I'm really going to dive deep in this because my kid, again, she kind of got us started last night in this voice chat and I don't even know what to say. I'm I, I'm just so grateful because it's now giving me like, all right, Ermie, go start reading that. Go start looking at it. Start tapping in a little bit because my entire chart is like all skewed to the bottom. Well, you see my chart. Everything is down mm -hmm. here. Yeah. It's not like everybody else chart all over the place. Mine is like the little bit down, you know, at the bottom of the, um, wow. All I can say is wow. All I can say is wow. We need another, we need another Discord voice chat. We do. <laughs> <laughs> you're on fire oh my god thank you friend thank you for thank you for pulling me up friend because i showed was headed down i've seen it i've seen it i've seen you you know you're emotional and we talking about that in the 12th house that cancer baby we don't need that i'm so <laughs> mad i'm so mad at cancer the 12th house. i'm like my kid i feel seen what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> and that was the one thing you asked about too, Lord. That had to be the thing you asked about in front of everybody. <laughs> that was. Oh my God. So embarrassed. Thank you, friend. <laughs> you welcome. Go. You. I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to go cool off in some water and go to thank you, friend. Y'all, my kid <laughs> is the real deal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you you welcome. Whenever you're ready to teach us teach us some more, you can since I, I, I yield can. the voice chat to you. Because we like we hungry now. Me and Edwin, okay. like, uh, come on, what's this about? <laughs> Me and Edwin, the main ones asking questions because we want to know and it want to make sense of it all. I'm about to pull up my husband chart, my kids chart. I got to look at their charts mm -hmm. again because I need to see this 12th house and what's in it with these emotions. Yeah. If I, yeah, Is the cancer placement like that in all the charts, what you just said, describe as far as my emotions? No, so it's the Mars. It's how you it's deal with, um, how you take action. Okay. Your Mars is how you take action, how you respond to conflict, how you handle stuff. Okay. So, yeah. so I want to know where your Lilith is. All right. I don't know what Lilith is, but it's a Sagittarius and it's in the fourth house. Sagittarius is the M. Okay. So it's in the fourth house. Lilith is in, in the fourth house. I think that's a Sagittarius. The M. Is that Sagittarius? I think it's a Sagittarius. Or oh, no, no. That's is not Sagittarius. Scorpio? Right. That's not Sagittarius, that's Scorpio. That's Scorpio, yeah, that's what I say, that's Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio in my chart. It's in two spots, two placements. It's in the fourth house. Oh, Sagittarius is the arrow. I should've known that. Um, so yeah. it's in the fourth house. 
Scorpio in the fourth house. I have the same Lilith, black. Mm, I don't know what house it's in though. I think I can't remember what house it's in, but I'm is in Scorpio too. But that is uh, the wounded divine feminine. That's how you find your um, independent feminine energy, especially we gotta, and, and this is goes pretty broad. So there's a different, a few different um, meanings for the black moon Lilith. One is uh, to it's your independence, your divine feminine independence, because it's the black moon Lilith, because you got to think about the story of Lilith. They try to suppress her, so on mm -hmm. and so forth. And we move into a space of patriarchy for 2000 years. So in that phase, the, it, the feminine energy was suppressed. So this is you finding your independence, your power, and it'd be in the Scorpio energy. So I'm trying to I am in the process of finding my divine feminine energy. Yes. It was the press. Girl, my kid, can I tell you? I feel like I have so much masculine energy, like dead ass. Mm -hmm. And I yep. was telling my husband, I said, yo, I think I was men. Like, I think I was a man in my past life. I promise you. And then as yeah. I do past life regressions, every single one is a man. Yeah. Every single past life is a man. I want to say maybe one where I, I, I told you I jumped off the ship with the two, my kids. Because I was like, I'm not going to be no slave because I'd rather die than be a slave. But every single time, I'm like, yo. I, I feel like I just exude masculine energy. I was yep. like, I had to be a man yep. before I came here. Yep. That don't make sense. And now I'm yep. trying so, to be like, hey, y'all. Yeah. And you got, and the thing about the Scorpio feminine energy, very seductive, very opposite of what we naturally are. <laughs> very very so it's like you got to tap into that energy because that's what's trying to come out of you that's what's going to help you pull from that because you've been so opposite me too mine is in in scorpio too and i have a lot of masculine energy and they've been trying to pull it out and i'm like no like i'm tough like what are you doing like right. no like <laughs> but they keep like saying man i need you to figure it out yeah, yeah it's now i'm trying to be more um um Feminine, I wear more feminine things, wear more for them. Cause I'm y'all, I wear earrings and eh. like I could be regular t shirt and sweats and I'm like, for what? Right. Now I'm like, it's like, I feel it being pulled out of me. I feel like, okay, Ermie, all right, let's get, let's get your sexy back. Let's do the things that's sexy. Let's, cause I used to always hear as a uh, younger child, oh my God, you're not even a younger child. <clears throat> Teenager, young adult, oh my God, you got a seductive voice. You got a bedroom. I'm like, yes. what the fuck? Why would you say that? That's so gross, dude. Yes. Like, bruh, bruh. Don't be doing that to me, bruh. Like, yes. <laughs> but what's so crazy is that we exude it, but we don't know. Everybody mm -hmm. else sees it. We have no goddamn idea. Like, it don't mm -hmm. click for us. Because mm -hmm. people used to, I used to say, I'm too tough. I'm too masculine. I need to tap mm -hmm. into my feminine. They was like, girl, you are feminine all day long. I'm like, where? Right. Right. Ooh, but it's my know. mindset about it. So you got bedroom eyes. Ooh, I do? No, I don't. What you talking about? <laughs> no, I don't be doing that to me. <laughs> Start walking around cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? What you talking about? Me? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> Listen, I avoided everything sexy and sensual. I'm like, I'm weird. No, we're not it's doing so this. We're not. I'm not doing that. A mini skirt? What? <laughs> you see my legs? What? I got chicken legs. <laughs> my, my legs are nasty. <laughs> <laughs> my was like, my, my legs are skinny. Where did I get them from? I said, your grandma. <laughs> we all got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but your proportion you you got it together i'm over here with it's so you know, funny. hilarious oh my god okay that makes sense because again yeah. i feel like every single past life i've every time i come here or wherever i'm at it's a male energy strong male energy mm -hmm. oh my god my kid that makes so much sense yeah. whoever asked i had people, a past, thank you i did a um a black candle ritual that took me back to a past life and i was uh uh, the leader of a, I don't, I don't know, I don't think they were the Amazons, but I was the leader of a, a, a all women's warrior group, like 
and I was, and she, I'm talking about staff, and this is when she was older, and she had passed the baton to somebody else. Well, I had passed the baton to somebody else, mm -hmm. and she was sitting there, and she was heavy at this point, but her face, like, the frown lines was so deep, but her yeah. skin was such a beautiful, dark copper, and shiny, and smooth, except for where the smell lines were, yeah. and they were in the mouth, where, like, she was frowning, and in the chin, where, like, she was you know, frowning up her too, but I was yeah. like, oh, so I've been masculine for a long time. Yeah, even as so a woman. So that's why it's such a, a, a challenge for us to tap into that energy. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah. So remember on um, that show, um, Lovecraft, and when Hippolyta went yes. to all those different, did any of those lives re rep um, resonated with you? When she was um, going through all those different past lives or different... Because when she was a yes, woman, yeah, I was child. Like, when I seen um that movie that came out, the with, Women King, uh, yes, me too. I me said, too. oh, I think that was me. Me too. I'm talking about all the hurt on my body just stood up. Yep, and I was like, I was is this some? And then I was felt like I was having a memory. I'm like, oh, something's crazy. And then yeah, it's and then it was it showed me me and my girls. And then we got this thing, bless our heart. That's why we ain't violent people. We got this thing where <clears throat> when we black out, we, we we're done. Yeah. We we can do some serious damage, mm -hmm. and because of that, we really try to stay calm. We don't like to fight people. I don't like arguments. I don't like doing none of that. But every woman in my family are, is extremely dangerous. Like can kick a man's ass in 0.5 seconds with no problem. And we little bitty. We're not even big, big people. Like we tiny, teensy, weensy. Messing people up, like literally fucking people up. But it's it's because of our past lives experience. A lot of the energy is still within us. So, you know, but we are aware of it on a subconscious level. That's why we like peace so much. Right. Yeah. Right. Like my kid, where I live now, I live in a gated community, private community. Nobody comes in. Nobody knows where mm -hmm. I live. I love that shit. I love it. I love it where I'm like, I'm out of your hair. I'm a, I'm not a bother. Yes. I don't want you to. I don't, my name shouldn't be a shit because I'm nowhere near the shit. Like how my name get to Atlanta? How my name get to Tennessee? Like what? I'm not even there. So I purposefully right. remove myself from different people that I know. Are problematic. I remove myself mm -hmm. so I can be blameless. Like y'all ain't gonna put my right. shit. Cause when I when I go in, I go this, in for the good. Like because we pray in real life. <laughs> we are pray in real life. I promise you, you don't want nothing. I don't you don't you won't leave the quiet ones alone. They are Please. quiet for a reason. Viciously. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you, man. Listen, I swear to God, y'all, I'm in a whole different, I'm so far away from my families. Like, and I'm not saying family's a problem, but I just want to be unproblematic because I know me. I know yeah. how I go off. I'll, I'll be ready. I'll be, you know, I don't even know when I hit you. I, I done blacked out. I ain't even know I was on time. Gone. Yep, gone. Pew. You don't realize till you came up and then somebody's half dead and then you in handcuffs. You're like, wait, wait a minute. I wasn't hurt. I mean, I was hurt, but I wasn't hurt when it happened. <laughs> Where I'm going? What y'all doing? Where I'm going? Wait, I, what is this? Yeah, absolutely. I felt that. I felt that. Oh, somebody said, what was the name of the movie? Um, it was the the Woman King. Woman King. And she also mentioned Lovecraft Country, which I think that's planned on Tubi right now. Really? Yes. Lovecraft is on Tubi? Yes, because I, I, I wanted to watch it and I had to watch the commercials. And, you know, I didn't realize how much I hated commercials because I haven't had to watch nothing with commercials. Long time. Oh, my it's God. Like, <laughs> you was watching yes. this Me Me on Tubi? Oh, my God. Yep, what does it that was mean? Because of Jonathan Majors and what he did, they just made I'm movie. assuming, unfortunately, that but that, that was a powerful... And, you know, I wonder if that's why... Huh. Uh-oh. Cause that was a you know that that show was they powerful. Didn't, they didn't want it to be revealed. They didn't want that it was, to be revealed about that. But nothing. it resonated so much with me. It resonated a lot from oh when, my uh, when the girl when she was speaking Creole and she was saying that we um, we break this tie. We we get them the, like that. That was so powerful. I was screaming at the TV like, "Yeah, you such a hold on her ancestors and said, "Get the up!" Just came through. I had get up! You're not go dead yet. Go watch that. Woo! That's a good one. Let's talk about it right now. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know Tubi had it. I thought it was on. Um, I thought it was still on HBO Max. 
Tubi. Dang. He said ever since they canceled it, they put it on there. Dang. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I think it was on, was it Stars for a long time? Oh, something. Stars, I can't not remember. HBO Max. Yeah, it was on something. One of those um, Max. No, it was on HBO Max. It's still on HBO Max. Oh, it's on TV okay. for real, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on TV. Yes, I literally, because I was like, oh, I want to watch. And when I, I don't watch a lot of TV, but whatever, whenever I do watch TV, it's always something magical. I don't like normal shit. So yeah. I was like, I want to watch Lovecraft. Who's playing it? And I was like, Tubi. Then I was like, watching it commercials. Oh no, I don't got patience for this shit. No, I cannot. It's so too because it's canceled. I don't like that Nefertari. I don't like that because it really is a good show. It have me on edge. I watched it maybe three times. I watched it maybe mm-hmm. three times, and I get another nugget when I watch it again. Yes. When the ancestor, the beginning, when she was the pregnant ancestor, and I yeah. was like, "What? Like, what? The, what you mean? What are you talking?" So it was like a, a awakening for me too. Like, wait, what? That's how they show themselves or present themselves, and it made me unlock some more things in me that I seen that I didn't equate that to the ancestor. Right. I did not put two and two together. So that movie right. helped me a lot. And then when Hippolyta, I keep saying Hippolyta because when she tr- went to go discover herself and n- learn who she was. I cried. I cried. Yes. I cried because that's literally that was so powerful, though. Yeah. How I many? Only one so season, cool. Edwin. Only one season, and they they shut it off because it was just giving too much revelation. Giving too much revelation. It was just too much. So I rewatched Lucy. I watched it a couple of times, and when I watched it again today, because I always look at. I I have some movies that I base my spiritual uh, understanding on. I'm like, okay, let me right. watch Lucy again. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, Morgan Freeman. Okay, let me write these notes down. Morgan Freeman, what yeah. you said? Oh, Lucy, what you? Hey, said? Lucy is great though. I love Lucy. Yeah. I absolutely love Lucy. What you call it was good too. I don't know if you read that, but I think that went more with my creative. Spacey's Pisces thinking side was uh American Gods. Did you see that? Yes, when the first came out, I, was doing that. I had my earphone in at work. Wow. Yeah. This show, this show is too good. I said, Oh my god, that was so good. With Moon, oh my god, oh my goodness, such a good movie. I mean, such a good show. And then I want to say the last season, I'm like, All right, y'all, I see what y'all trying to like. Y'all trying to cancel this thing because it's like it's yep. not giving that oomph like it was yep. the first two seasons. Mm-hmm. Shadow Moon, man. Woo. Listen, I said, boy, you better go find your daddy. Right. <laughs> you better find your daddy. <laughs> that was so good. I love American guys. I think that's your, I think that's old. When he revealed he was older. Mm-hmm. Yep. Are you Thor? Yep. Are you Thor? Yep. I saw it coming. I was like, that's his daddy. Yeah, that's his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> right, you oh, are my father. <laughs> yes, American guys, y'all go watch that. The last season, mm. but the first two, yeah, y'all can mm. honestly, you can skip the last season. I ain't yeah. great friend on you. The yeah, first two, though, that. that second season, maybe. Woo! Look, coin, baby, that coin. I said, oh, this shit is good. I'm going to watch it again. I'm going to watch American Gods again. But it gives you so much perspective, y'all. It gives you all the different gods that people worship. And I show you how religion is so yeah. many things that people worship. So yeah. many things that people worship. Worship and technology. Remember technology when he mm-hmm. came out? Girl, the, the the feminine energy. Or who was she? The feminine guy where every time she sleep with somebody, she engulfed them in her. Um, the What was it? Bathsheba? Mm-hmm. I forgot her name, but she would take uh, that per- like she would engulf them. Like it's like she takes over them, and mm-hmm. they're gone in her vagina. Yeah, in her hoo yep. She completely consumes them. Consumes them. Yeah, yep. I love. She that. consumes yeah. the ones that are of lust. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, yep. I want to say in the f- not the four horsemen. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so many different. It's y'all. It's another enlightening so- show. The American American Gods. That's scary. It's good. The far. Listen, go watch it. Go watch it. Don't think scary. Don't think so. We want to set you up to go watch something scary. Trust me. No, I even try to get people to watch Insidious, but nobody want to watch Insidious. I'm like, Insidious is about astral projecting. It's about energies. Like, why y'all scared to go watch Insidious? They scared. Friend, you scared to watch Insidious? To watch. I don't think I've watched it. I'm gonna have to go watch it. It's good. They got yeah, five I'm have to movies five of them but of just dismiss the scary part the jump scare part because it has some jump scares because it's 
kind of like a um a, supposed to be a scary movie but it's not after you get uh, we know we know so it's probably post-scary. more suspense than it is scary the suspense of it yeah when you get the suspense out the way because it gets you on edge because it's a psychological movie as well it's a psychological exactly. movie it has a medium in there it's so good i love it and the last the last of it was the red door insidious red door okay i'm gonna have to try this it's just about astral projection it's it's so good i don't even want to tell you what it is it's so good and then you're gonna want to watch i know that it ended like that and then you gotta wait another year or two for the next part two all of them are out so you can watch all five okay <laughs> all five is so good i definitely do that yeah and it's like a mind like a, it's again like a psychological thing like split like split mm-hmm. or like um um split what's the other one with the bones his bones shattered uh, and Chaps, now- it took me into a a, a trigger baby listen <laughs> but i done healed it though so thank yes. the lord so you can watch <laughs> Split is good. But split put me in a whole trigger. I was straight triggered. Panic attack and all. I was like, oh. what is happening? Oh, sorry. Yes. Glass. There it is. Glass. And the other one. Okay. Well, he's unbreak- unbreakable. Unbreakable, glass, and split. There's, it's a three part. So if you watch split, that was the third one, the third installment. But watch the other two. Okay. With, um, The other two were the first ones with... um. I can see his face now and they say he has he's starting to have Alzheimer's or memory loss. I can see his face. I can't think of his name it's right 11, now. 11. Look at that. Talking about the right thing. Have you mm-hmm. seen spell? Spell? No. Oh. I had to write that down. Write that down too. Put that okay. in the Discord. Yes, please share it with us with us in the Discord. Because I literally go to the Discord to see what y'all put in there and I go watch it for real. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, what they say to watch next? Okay, let me go watch it right now. Yeah, so y'all, I feel, you know who I'm talking about. Bruce Willis. Thank you, Stasia. Yes, Bruce Willis. He's starting to lose his memory, y'all. He's starting to lose his memory. I feel so sad for him. I really love Bruce Willis. He's a great um, actor because the movie for me that broke, I feel like I saw him on the first one I saw was The Sixth Sense. Mm-hmm. The Sixth Sense with Bruce Willis. Skeleton. I love Bruce Willis. He he reminds me of a white version of my dad. Oh, really? Don't ask me why. I, but every time I see Bruce Willis, I see my daddy. So Aww. weird. Oh, I love Bruce Willis. The Truman Show. Yep, I watched that. I watched. Um, I love the Truman Show because it gives you, it makes you see that we're in a fucking matrix for real. Um, the show from watch that because they're stuck. They're stuck somewhere. It's so it's so unfortunate his condition. Yes, yeah. the Truman Show. But not, yeah, he's nonverbal too. Oh, I didn't know that. Damn, he's nonverbal. Oh, that don't make me cry. I'm gonna cry when he passed away. I'm gonna cry. I ain't gonna hold you. I really am because I really like him. He was like my childhood celebrity superstar. I wrote Spell, so I will watch Spell. He's a badass actor. Spell is on Prime. Yes, I have Prime. <laughs> you sound like me. I got Prime. I got Prime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm watching that. I've seen Skeleton Key, but I, it kind of freaked me out because, again, I watched it when I was in college, like early college. Mm-hmm. And um, that shit scared the shit out of me because that seems so real. And it kind of reminded me of Behind Her Eyes. If you've seen that on Hulu. I don't. Oh my God. I don't watch TV that much. Oh. When I say I don't watch TV that much, the TV doesn't even come on. I really? didn't even have a TV in my bedroom. I don't know. I don't watch TV like that. Really? I, read I, don't, books. I don't watch news like that. But yeah, for like so this this part I watch. Like yeah. when people tell no, me I, watch this, that's what I do. But I just love to, but it's in my charts though. Like oh. literally, it's in my chart of how much I like to absorb knowledge. I can't remember oh. where it is. I have to look it up. Oh, you but see it people look about, about, It's in my chart and my numerology. I'm about to bring up my chart and say, let me see. I can't remember where it's at though. But I'll have to find it and I'll show you where it's at. Oh, that's gonna talk, yeah. that's gonna talk bad about me because I watch TV a lot. Ain't nothing wrong with that, child. That's <laughs> gonna talk <laughs> shit like Irby ass on there. Twenty three hours out of twenty four. It's <laughs> gonna <laughs> um, say Irby just be watching all day long, and that's not true, but <laughs> to a degree. But a little bit, kind of, sort of, almost. But you almost, almost there, but it ain't. <laughs> 
I was like, Alexa, turn on the TV. All right, Alexa, put it on Disney Plus because we got to watch Marvel. I got to watch. I feel like I, got, I I love Doctor Strange and all the Marvel shows because I feel like that's close to reality as well. And I get a lot of gems watching those, especially Doctor yeah. Strange. You already hear me talk about Doctor Strange a million times. Yeah. Honey, I was having, listen here, I was having dreams about Doctor Strange where he would, me and him was cool, like mm -hmm. cool, cool. Like we was tight and, um, What's his name? Shit. Wonder Years, the teacher. Was it Wonder Years? Mr. Feeney? Oh, that's not yes. No, no, no. Feeney. Yes, 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 yes. It was Mr. Okay. Feeney. Mr. Feeney. And it was the black guy that played in the Marvel movie who was up who was next to Iron Man, whatever his name is. What's his name? Don Cheeto. Don Cheeto. But Don Cheeto wasn't in costume. Um Boy meets world. Uh, but I had this gift where I would touch people and I could feel everything, like literally everything. And just so happened, um, Dr. Strange had came out of the house pissed and he was pissed and he was like, this motherfucker, woo -woo, he's trying to play. But he's like, he's going off. Mm -hmm. And it's Mr. Feeney he's mad at. And I come in, of course, Mr. Feeney has been Mr. Feeney. But when I touch Mr. Feeney, it's not him. It's somebody completely different that had masked himself and i was like what and i've had like four dreams about dr strange and this gift but i don't know what to i don't know like when i touch people i don't see nothing right i don't know what it is right sarah she's my dang girl i'm over here like <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> just from the touch you get oh my god yeah I, I i see i can tell when you lying i can see like your whole motive i can see what you really look like because whoever dr feeney was transform into somebody else it really wasn't them but i had to play it off as if yeah you know because i'm just touching him like acting out of concern right. he doesn't know what my gift is so i had to play it off but yeah right. it was crazy so in lucy that's what she does when she touches people she knows gets all of their memories not gets it but she sees it she knows everything oh. about that person every single thing just from the touch from oh i remember that i have to watch that you now know. i watched it today again i watched it so many times and now because you, you put it somewhere on facebook you put it somewhere and today, i was like i might have I to put it in the movie that. channel okay that's a message that's a message you have to yeah. watch it my kid if you said that then it's literally that's what she did they put a drug in her and then it burst or some of it burst in her and it unlocked a lot of her brain like it unlocked it to where it was 100 mm -hmm. and um i think when it was like 40 percent, just hugging people she's pulling information she knows everything about the person just from touch and it's 40 percent of her brain that shit, i was like oh <gasps> Okay, that's okay. Good, Army. Okay, keep watching, keep watching. Cause I don't, I watch it so many times, but it's like little things that she say. Um, and then she was going through past lives, not past like her past lives, but like going back thousands and thousands and hundreds right. of years. Like she just slotted back in time. Room. Yeah, back in time, where yeah. uh, I want to say she was in Times Square or something like that, and then it just shifted to where it was nothing, and then it shifted to like the Homo Sapien. Oh my God! It was I was yeah, like I, rem I do remember I I vaguely remember Lucy. It's been a long time yes, since I, I watched. It. I think my kids was little. They grown now. Yes, yes but I'm gonna have to watch it because that's starting to it's starting to because you know I got my book from my uh, <laughs> guardian angel in the past life regression. My book no. of my um, what was it? The book of um, gifts. No, I, I didn't know. My, you were... uh, yeah, but when I met my guardian, oh, because I couldn't talk it, talk about it, because my uh, speaker was messed up, so I typed it out. Oh. That's what it was. So, um, please my share guardian, the Discord. I'm gonna have to go get that. I will. I will. Uh, my guardian angel, uh, his name was Shu, mm -hmm. and he was the uh, the guardian of of wisdom. No, he was a spirit guide. He was a spirit guide of wisdom. He was a Chinese guy. And then when he when he came, um, he he floated to me at that. He didn't even. He just float <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he gave me the, the box he gave me had a big book in it and the pages was glowing and he said these are your gifts you're more powerful than you think and he said something else and then he floated on the back away first he oh, took no, his no. bow and then he floated away and then this is coming up and we having this conversation and yeah the Lucy so yeah i, I, I might have to want to see that it. book i want to read that book uh um, ikea because something similar to your guide my guide came to me last week when we did it with um Alicia and my mm -hmm. guy had um um these like it was like hair coming from his face his skin was like um it was black but it had like sparkles sparkles oh, like 
it was like glitter. I would say glitter. Right. And um, he had a hat on, like a wizard and all that. And then his um, clothes, everything just like, it was not hair, but it looked as if the 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 bottom of that cloak or whatever he had on, it was like the nine tail, you know, the nine tail yep. um, cat. It was fox. like that. It was like a nine tail fox. Yes. It was like a lot of, and then he came to me with a box and in the box, it was like a little ball. Boom, 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 boom. Like it was trying to come out like the ball from Harry Potter, the one they was playing that game with. That little gold one, it was like bouncing, 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 blah, blah, blah. But then when he opened up the box, I saw a ball come out. It was like um, like an energy ball. It was energy. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, oh, okay, it's a ball. And then the ball goes boom. And so I'm in the chair. I'm, like, I'm so glad that camera was out. I, I had my camera off. <laughs> I was, it was dark. The ball hit me so hard. I was like, oh, like in the chair, like, oh, what the fuck? Because I felt it. <laughs> and then when she told us to come out of it, I was like, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to turn the light off. <laughs> I can't do it. If people saw this, they could be like, what the fuck is wrong with Earth? <laughs> oh, my what is your name? He said, no, 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 no. I was like, hey, what, is this what is this gift? What did you give me? What happened to me? Because literally it was like a boom hit me right in my forehead. I was like, ah, in the chair. And I was like, what is this gift? And he was like, elevated wisdom, elevated wisdom, elevated wisdom. I was like, this is how you, so you get it activated like too, because that's what she called it. She said, I got activated. So you got activated. Your powers oh. and your gifts got activated. Oh, yeah. that's crazy! That's, wow. And then next, you know, um, going to my going to that third life, mm -hmm. uh, the second life. He came. He came along, and then he wrapped his arm. It was like a um, it was like a wrap. He wrapped his arm and my arm, and I end up looking the way he looked. Like I had the, the thing, the curls, and all that. Oh my god! Am I am is he me? Like am I his wife, or like are we connected in some right. type of way of a past ancient? life or something so right. i became i'm dressed like him and i'm floating in the air we're going to the the third life and then he takes me to the oh, door wow. where i had to choose 100 200 or 300 years i was like whoa okay so you gonna you ride with me all the way to the wheels fall off okay let's go but he told me who he was none do so that's kind that's funny that yours name is shoe and i'm over here like none do everybody else got regular names abigail right, <laughs> right. <laughs> And this mass was, uh, he was an old, old, like old Asian man, but he didn't look old, but you know, he was old. His hair was white and he had that long beard with the long mustache. Yeah. His hair was half up, half down. His wow. hair was in a ball with chopsticks in it. Wow. And he just floated. And then he told me, which was crazy. He told me, um, I, I brought Saraswati to you. Maybe back in November, I had a lady come to me and tell me Saraswati's walking with me, and I'm like, "What? The, it's it's a listen. You gotta, we gotta sit down and talk, cause honey, oh, when I say spirit been working and stuff been happening, wow. I, listen, it's a lot. Is it is it a deity, Saraswati? What is that? Saraswati is a deity. Yes, oh. yeah, she's a and she's a deity of knowledge, wisdom, writing. Um, well, a lot of people don't know much about her. Yeah, I never heard of but her. But she's also the deity of creativity and the arts. Oh. Yeah. So y'all know I'm going to be like, not only looking through the natal chart, through looking through my human design, but looking through deities and see how it all connects. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, all these different past lives, I know they were, were they looking at natal charts? Were they, like, how did they process this information? Or what did they Well, yeah, you know, natal charts was back when, um, uh, in Kemet, ancient Egypt. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would make sense. Tahuti or who? You can call me the Tahuti or Thoth, or Thoth, whatever you call him. He's okay. actually like the. He brought all of that to to you know, the world. I guess. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, what's her name? Sarah. Sarah Swati. S A R A, S W or S V A T I. It can go one either way. Okay. I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look her up. I've never heard of her. Yeah, there's a reason why she's not popular because she's very powerful when it comes to wisdom, mm -hmm. and wisdom is it to for everyone. Mm. The knowledge of wisdom isn't for everyone, but she's very powerful. 
It makes me think about the Bible when they said she, they call wisdom she. Sarah mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh, listen, see, I take you deep, child. I don't know. Ooh, I like that, Sarah. So I see it. S A R A S V A T I. Yeah, I see it. I found her. Sarah Swati, the goddess of, and she has like, oh, okay. This makes more sense because she's the one with all the arms. I'm seeing her right now. Mm hmm. And it's, this there's is a few of them that got a lot of arms, though, um, just because there's there's so much work to be done and they're only one person. So right. they because I yeah. think uh, Huan Yin has a lot of arms, too. Wow. And he's a Hindu god as well. Who? No, it's a she. Yeah, she. Oh, no, okay. she's not Hindu. She is um, Asian. She's a Chinese uh, oh, okay. deity. OK. Oh, I can't wait to learn more about this because, man. Right. Sarah says, let's just create another Discord presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah says, I'm sick of this shit. Let's just do another one. <laughs> oh, Sarah, I felt that. I felt that. And I'm going to definitely put myself on mute. I'm going to have you host this, Sarah, because I'm, I'm going to be taking notes. I'm gonna be I was all up in the notes last night. I was like, dang, Mika's, Mika's doing it. And I'm over here. I said, Mika, I'm going to be real busy. I'm going to just, just. I was like, uh-uh, busy, what? What you say? Okay, wait, hold on. What you say, Makia? <laughs> <laughs> that was me last night. Okay, Chiron. Okay, I knew that was a wounded healer, but now I got to find my Chiron, because who fucked me up? Who messed me up to where I had to be doing, going through this shit? Okay, my Chiron is in my 10th house. All right, so now let's learn what the 10th house is. It, like, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> oh, that's a Taurus. That's Max ass. That's Max. Max is a Taurus. Max is a Taurus. Max is a Taurus. He's he's my wounded healer. I'm just kidding. Oh my God. So yeah, friend. Thank you so much, friend. I didn't realize we was I, I didn't know I needed this. I didn't know we all needed this just from one conversation, y'all. I gotta go. You're out. So welcome. You guys have a great night. Bye, y'all. We're gonna get off. I'm gonna get off too. We're gonna come. I'm gonna come back on tomorrow. It's all at 11 30 i want to watch uh spell bye bye love you all bye.